and in this video we are going to see that how we can flash the AOSQP ROM in our Redmi Note 8 Pro. Now guys in short we can say that this is basically a QAssa ROM okay and you can see the name of the file is QAssa files. So guys in this video we are going to see that how we can flash the QAssa and guys this ROM is brought to you by you can see the names so credit goes to all of them okay guys so let's see that how we can flash this rom and this is an android 10 rom this is not an android 11 or android 12 or neither android 13 rom so guys the flashing method of this particular rom is a different one as compared to the traditional methods and rom so guys if you are on any custom rom like if you are on miui mod or if you are on any aosp custom rom for example cr android android 13 or lineage os android 13 pixel experience plus android 13 13 cherish android 13 whatever you are on or even on android 12 so guys you can see this video and you can flash to this android 10 qsa rom okay guys so let's start with this video so guys if you are new to the channel then make sure that you subscribe bringing more and more awesome uh, contents and new new updates for the device and uh, also guys uh, make sure that you hit that like button so guys let's start with the video so first thing what you have to do is you have to come to this particular website so uh, after coming to this thing you can simply click on this particular rom file and you can download this don't worry guys i'll explain the change logs as well because guys i have gone through the change logs and you can see that there are lots and lots of change logs which you can see here and the latest change log you can see is for 2022 4 and 12 okay guys and if we see the release date of this thing so this is 2022 4 and 14 it means that uh, the download is released two days later so guys you can see that there are lots of change logs which is literally not possible for me to explain each and every change logs else the video Video will go quite long okay guys so if i see so you can uh, i'll provide the link of this particular change log in the description you can simply come uh, or head over to this particular website and you can read this thing okay so guys uh, let's see that uh, you know how we can flash this particular rom and let's see that how we can flash from one custom rom that is from any of the android 13 11 12 uh, ROSS based custom rom to this particular android 10 custom rom okay guys so let's start with the video so first thing what you will do is you have to uh, download the file so the very first file I've already shown that you have to download the custom ROM file so for that you have to head over to this particular website and here you can uh, see this uh, AOSQP ROM so you simply click over to the, head over to this website and click on this ROM and it will start to download now guys here you can see that the total download of this particular ROM is 168 but guys I know that this ROM like many people uh, did not even reach this ROM the reach was quite less for this particular ROM so guys I thought to cover this in my video and uh, so that uh, the other people can also flash this ROM because guys this is a good ROM and guys we all know that Android 10 is a quite stable option for the Redmi Note 8 Pro device okay guys so that is the reason guys I brought uh, you this video so you can see that um, this is the ROM now simply click on this particular ROM and you can download this ROM moving on to the next one guys so the second thing which you need is the TWRP recovery now guys let me tell you the very first thing that I am flashing from one particular custom ROM that is Android 11 12 13 ROM to Android 10 ROM okay guys so this TWRP recovery will be used uh, when you are on Android 11 12 or 13 this won't be used on Android 10 okay but guys yes there is a solution just follow the same method as what I am following and there will be no error okay uh, so guys the second file which you need as I have already told that you need this TWRP recovery file so you have to come to this theme TWRP yellow zip just click on this particular uh, zip and simply download it now guys the third file which you need is so guys the third file what you need is basically this firmware android 10 twrp brp okay so this is the file the third file which you need guys make sure that you download this file because guys without downloading or if you don't flash this particular file then guys your phone will not reboot this is very much clear that uh, you have to make sure that you download this particular file i'll provide the link in the description or also you can guys uh, or also you can get this on my telegram group that's completely your choice so guys make sure that you download this thing because guys this will uh, this is the file which will help the system to boot up into android 10 custom roms okay so now uh, like uh, now guys let's go to our phone and uh, let's see that uh, on what custom rom currently i am on so guys you can see that currently i am on the lineage os now let me just show you that i am on lineage os and also guys i am testing my hydra kernels on this particular uh, rom you can see that this is hydra plus is written so guys this time the hydra kernels is going to be released on 2nd january 
and uh, also guys this time i guess the two variant there are uh, there will be two variants which will be released the first one will be the normal hydra and the second one will be the hydra plus okay so you can see that i'm testing the hydra plus as of now so guys this was a, just a small update regarding the hydra kernels okay guys now let's proceed with the video so let's see guys that uh, uh, how we can flash so, so guys you can see that this is a lineage os and as we have flashed in the previous uh, video of our uh, on our channel so guys if you haven't watched it and if you want to flash the lineage OS, then i'll provide the link in the description you can simply go ahead and watch that out okay guys so you can see that i am currently on a custom rom so guys as i've already told you that if you are on any custom rom so guys in this video i am going to tell you that if you are on any custom rom so how to flash from one particular custom rom to another custom rom so guys i am on lineage os i'll be flashing on android 10 rom now guys this is android 13 based lineage os okay so guys i'll be flashing on android 10 based custom rom so how to do that let's see that so guys i am on custom rom first step what you need to do is simply copy the custom rom and the firmware file okay just copy the form custom rom and firmware file so guys let me copy it So guys, you can see that I have copied both of the uh, the firmware as well as the ROM file in my Redmi Note 8 Pro, in my Lineage OS Redmi Note 8 Pro. So guys, you can see that uh, this is the first one is the AOSP, AOSQP ROM that is of around 1.15 GB approximately. And guys, uh, just tell, just one thing to one thing to say over here is that this is a Google Google Apps variant. If you, if I go to the description. So you can see that this is G apps and it means that Google apps variant and guys this one is the firmware so guys we have copied both of the files. Now guys the next step the first step was to copy the files the guys the second step what we have to do is we have to flash the TWRP recovery. Okay guys now guys if you are on any of the custom ROMs so I expect that uh, your TWRP recovery you already have it in your device. Okay guys now if you don't have your TWRP in your device so don't worry we are going to see th in this particular step. So now guys uh, for flashing of TWRP recovery what we have to do is we have to make our phone or we have to take our phone to the fast boot mode. Now guys how we'll do that we uh, will do that first thing by uh, simply restarting and pressing the volume down button constantly. Okay guys, so we have come to our fast boot mode of our Redmi Note 8 Pro. Okay guys, now the second step as I've already told that how to flash TWRP, so we'll be flashing TWRP. Now guys, I've already given you one file, uh, the file which we have downloaded, the TWRP recovery file. So when we have come to fast boot mode, now guys, what we have to do is we have to connect our phone with our PC. So we'll be connecting using the charging cable, this charging one. So let me connect it. So we have connected our uh, device to our PC. Now guys, let us let me go to my PC and uh, let me show that what are the steps which are needed to be done. So guys, here we are on our PC and uh, you can see that uh, this the TWRP recovery file I've downloaded. And guys, the ROM file and the firmware file I've already copied in my Redmi Note 8 Pro. So guys, that is the reason why I've not uh, kept it over here. So guys, you can see the TWRP recovery file I've already downloaded. It. Now guys, what you have to do is you have to download it and you have to simply right click this thing and click on WinRAR and select extract to theme TWRP. Okay guys, you can see the theme TWRP one. Okay, now guys, what you have to do is after extracting, you will get a folder like this. Okay, now guys, uh, you will get a folder like this. Now simply double click on this folder and enter the folder. Okay guys, and after entering the folder, you will get a file like flash BRP MIUI Android 11. Now guys, what you have to do is you have to simply double click on that particular file. So guys, after you double click on that particular file, you will reach over to this particular, uh, like that. this is how the it will be flashed. Okay guys, now let me go to my phone and guys, our PC work is as of now. So guys, here we are on our phone and uh, let's see what are the steps which are needed to be done. So guys, the very first step what you need to do is you have to come to install over here and make sure that you have your AOS QP ROM and firmware uh, both in your Redmi Note 8 Pro copied. Okay guys, now uh, press the home button, come to mount over here, click on system and vendor. Now guys, again press the home button, come to wipe over here, click on advanced wipe, click on Dalvik system, vendor, data and catch and simply swipe to wipe. Okay guys, now press the home button, come to install over here and guys, first thing what you have to do is you have to click on the firmware and then click on add more zips and then click on the ROM and simply swipe to flash. Okay guys, now guys, let's wait for it to flash. So guys, we have flashed the ROM and the firmware file, both of them. Okay guys, now if you want to root, so you have to come to advance over here and click on the install magic. All magic can swipe to confirm flash.
Okay guys, now press the simply press the home button, come to wipe over here, click on the format data and type YES and simply take this thing. So guys, so guys, you can see that the boot logo has came up. Now guys, let's wait for it to boot up. So guys, you can see that we have successfully booted in our Android 10 Keyword double S A ROM. Now guys, let's start with this thing. Click on the start over here. Now I'll skip this thing guys, do the same as I'm doing. If you don't do that, then guys, your mobile will restart again and again. So guys, follow the same step. So guys, uh, you don't have to connect to network right now. Simply click on the skip over here. Click on the continue. Click on the next over here. Click on the more, more, then click on accept. And here you can skip this thing. You can set up according to your choice. That's completely your option. And guys, you can see that we have booted into our Android 10 QA double SA ROM. And guys, believe me, this is way more smoother than many of the Android 11, 12 and 13 ROMs. And guys, that is the reason why I thought to make a video on this particular ROM. You can see the smoothness. It's quite smooth as compared to many other pixel or many other lineage based ROMs. So guys, here you can see the notification and all and guys, uh, you can see that this is definitely a quite more smoother option as compared to many ROMs, many other ROMs. Also guys, I hope uh, also guys in this ROM, you get unlimited Google Photos storage and guys, I've since I've rooted this thing, you can see that uh, you have you simply have to connect to internet. So guys, uh, let me connect to my internet. So guys, the recent tabs will look like this guys you can see that how smooth it, it is okay guys so i hope that you like this video and guys if you have any doubts so you can ask in the comment section and also guys you can join our telegram group and uh, you can ask your doubts over there as well that's completely your choice so guys uh, this was about in this video and uh, if you like the video then make sure that you hit that like like button also guys subscribe to our channel take care